Good morning, Spray Bay. I'm Amr Warayat. Today is Monday, March 20th, 2017. And I'm Heaven Williams. And at this time, we'll have our pledge followed by a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's quote of the day is, Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. That's by Helen Keller. In 1987, Congress declared March as National Women's History Month in, per in perpetuity. A special presidential proclamation is issued every year, which honors the extraordinary achievements of American women. Now check this out. Oprah Gail Winfrey was the first African-American woman to be a billionaire. And she's an American media proprietor, a talk show host, actress, producer, and philanthropist. She is best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which is the highest rated television program of its kind in history and was nationally syndicated from 1968 to 2011 in Chicago, Illinois. In 2000, she was awarded the Spin Guard Medal from the NAACP. In 2002, Christian Today published an article called The Church of O, in which they concluded that Winfrey had emerged as an influential spiritual leader. Now let's send it over to Mr. Sharp with Principal's Corner. Good morning, students. It's March 20th. It's another edition of Principal's Corner. Big congratulations go out to Andrew Giles, Ansley Tucker, Soleil Chason, and Katie Mitchum for being selected as our new North Cobb Business Association interns. Um, students, I want to go over with you real quick my priorities as principal. Obviously, number one is to keep you safe each and every day, increase student achievement, uh, build leadership, develop relationships, document and demonstrate fiscal uh, responsibilities, and hire and retain the best teachers possible. Um, also like to big shout out to the school for all your hard work. We were named a Washington Post Best High School, as well as a Nietzsche Best High School for 2017. Again, another congratulations to Mr. Esther Wine and Mr. Ellis for our symphonic and concert bands on their large group performances last Friday, and to Navy ROTC for qualifying for Navy Nationals again. Students, remember, success is deliberate. Help your own Sprayberry Jacket Battalion get to Navy Nationals by going to Zaxby's Sandy Plains on Wednesday, March 22nd between 4 and 7 p.m. A portion of all proceeds during that time will go to fund the NJR OTC trip to Navy Nationals in Pensacola, Florida. There will be games, trivia, and great prizes for those who come by, so bring a big appetite and support the Jacket Battalion. And now over to Nas with the morning announcements. <laughs> Good morning, Sprayberry. I'm Nas, and on this day in 1982, Joan Jett's Love, Rock and Roll, hits number one on Billboard charts. Jett is a pioneer for female rock musicians. The SAT word of the day is iconoclast, meaning one who attacks or undermines traditional conventions or institutions. National Honor Society will announce its 2017-2018 members on Friday, March 24th. A list will be posted on the NHS board in the 100 Hall during lunch, and members will be notified during first block. Since 1994, millions of dollars have been raised in pennies and other spare change by more than 10 million elementary, middle, and high school students throughout the country. The funds collected during a three-week period benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Everyone who participates is a winner. Thank you for participating in the Collect for Cures program. You will be helping a lot of people with cancer. In fact, many of the people you will be helping are students just like yourselves. The money you raise will help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society help find cures for cancers that are in the blood.
Sprayberry has accepted the challenge of helping to find a cure for blood cancer. We are joining over 29,000 schools across the nation to make a difference and raise as much money as we can. Over the next three weeks, our school will be working to reach a goal of $1,000. Friday, March 10th, during all lunch periods, we will be kicking off our Leukemia and Lymphoma Society fundraiser. Teachers and staff, we need your help as well. There will be a competition between departments. Let's go, Sprayberry. Let's raise money for LLF. Why so sad? Walking around with them. Students and faculty, have you ever wondered about your grandparents or great-grandparents? Well, you can find out with your free account at Ancestry.com. You can get your account through the Cobb Digital Library. Open the Cobb Digital Library with your student ID number and password, read, and find out all of your answers. Have any questions? See Ms. Axford in the Media Center to get started. Any student that has registered for work-based learning for the next school year, please see Mrs. Shaw immediately in room 503 or during third block in the school store. Thank you. Here's some information on prom. Seniors, your Herf Jones announcements are in the media center. Please see Miss Axford to pick them up. Now back over to heaven. The annual Sprayberry Art Show will be this Thursday, March 23rd, in the library from 6.30 to 7.30. All visual art students have at least one piece in the show. Come and enjoy an evening of the arts and refreshments, too. Spruce Up Sprayberry is an event to make our school look great. Here's more. Spring has sprung, and it's time for our annual Spruce Up Sprayberry event. Join us Saturday, March 25th for a great opportunity to earn volunteer hours, spend time with friends, and help to make your school greener and cleaner. There will be plenty of things to work on inside and outside of the building. Make sure to bring a pair of gloves if you own them, but don't sweat it if you don't. We have some. There will be plenty of activities there that don't require gloves, and we will have a few extra pairs just in case. If this sounds like an event you'd be interested in participating in, there's a sign-up sheet located in the front office. Also, teachers, if you have any old furniture or items you'd like to get rid of, you can set them outside your room in the hallway for us to take care of them for you. Just make sure to label them with your name and room number and shoot Mr. Barlow an email with your room number and what items you would like to get rid of. See you all there. Now over to CJ with the weather. Good morning, I'm CJ with the weather forecast. Today, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 55 with a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be the first day of spring and there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 80 and a low of 58 with a 40% chance of rain. And on Wednesday, it will be sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 47 with a 30% chance of rain. Now back over to Heaven and Amro. That's all we have for you today, Sprayberry. And remember teachers, all announcements must be submitted before 8 o'clock. That's for each day, and again, the address is sprayberrynews at gmail.com. Remember, Jackets, together, together we swore. Together we swore.